In this video, I would like to show you how to use nicknamed meets to use breakout rooms in your class. So to start, I found a template on the internet um, for breakout rooms that was already set up. Teacher help room, open group room, quiet room, and quiet room with descriptions of the rooms here. This is one idea for student choice for breakout rooms. Another idea you could do is kind of like a differentiated instruction where you could do a teacher help room, maybe a practice room, maybe a higher order thinking room, um, and an extreme challenge or a review room. Really, the sky is the limit. Once you have your template set up, and you're probably ready to set up the nickname tweets. So the first thing you would have to do is come up in this case with four nickname tweets. So I'm gonna do Kramer one, Kramer two, Kramer three, Kramer four. I'm gonna take a shape and I am going to put it over the door. And this kind of uh, covers is the thing that's laying on the most top of my slide right here, um, covers the door. So when the kids click on it they and I link it, they can go directly to the room I want them to. I'm gonna make the image transparent and I'm going to hyperlink. So if you want kids to go to this nickname meet, you're going to do http colon backslash backslash meet.google.com slash backslash look up backslash and your nickname meet. This one is going to be creamer one and you will apply it. Yep. So now I'm going to duplicate yeah. this and bring it up a little bit just so you can see the um, yeah. link to URL. I'm going to click on it, Control C to copy, Control V to paste, drag it over to this room. And now I'm going to edit the URL and I'm going to call this Kramer2. Again, paste it, drag it over, edit. This is going to be Kramer3. Okay, okay. Last door, pick a door, um, any door. Okay, this is going to be three over Okay, so now I have my doors all hyperlinked. I am going to have to start for eight with those matching names. These, um, one can enter uh, the theme. I'm going to enter it. So I know that that's and one I'm going to join that, it. Um, now, all four of these meets are going to be open on my screen, and I don't want to hear another group talking while I'm on this tab, and they don't want to hear me. So there's two um, things you need to do. Now she you have to mute your mic and you have to mute the tab. This is a mute tab extension that can be bought in the Chrome um, website. You know let me, let me, okay, let me get this I'm gonna join Kramer one and I'm gonna go and set and up the rest. I will get back to you in Sure. Okay, so now all four of my rooms are set up and I've joined them. Um, every room is muted mic. Muted tab. Okay, so now you get to go in and decide which room you want to interact with or listen to. You know, if you come in here and you just want to listen to their talking, you can keep your microphone muted and unmute the tab, listen to what they're saying, add any additional comments or things in the chat. The great thing about this setup with all of these going at once is since you started the meets with a nickname, you will have access to the chat between the students if they're using that. Um, I know some teachers like that. Um, if you want to talk to them, you can unmute your mic. So as you're going to transfer to your next room that you want to check in, you'll mute your mic. You'll mute your tab. You'll come to your next breakout room. You'll unmute the tab so you can hear them speaking, and you'll unmute your mic so you can talk to them just to check in on them. Really cool, exciting way to set up breakout rooms with nickname meets, and really trying to give the students some choice 
on you know how they are going to learn or work, which I really think is a motivating factor. Um, and really keeping motivation up during this time is super important. Um, if you have any questions or are interested in doing this in your classroom and need some additional assistance, please reach out to us. Have a great day.